Hi, I'm Sabrina Perry. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah, and I'm a second year violinist in the orchestra now. My mom played piano. We always had a piano in the house. She uh, talked to me just through the notes of the, the keyboard and everything when I was about five years old. And then when I turned six, she put me in violin lessons. Um, and it was a struggle for a little bit until I joined this All City Children's Orchestra. And I think that's where I immediately felt the most comfortable um, with everybody around me playing together, creating that kind of product. I just had a great time. I went to a performing arts high school in Utah and they had academies for all sorts of performing arts, but I particularly love musical theater. So I stuck with that for the four years I was there. I, I was still studying violin outside of school, but I really, really loved being able to perform on stage in musicals and plays. And I hoped to somehow have an outlet at least to sing when I got to college. And what I found was an all-female acapella group at the University of Rochester, and it was Hands down, one of my favorite things I did in my undergrad, it got me through conservatory, it got me through all the hard times, and I still talk to those ladies every single day. You know, I think I could compare it to orchestra in a way where you're on stage with your colleagues and you work hard for weeks and weeks on these little details and things and you get to see it all come to life together. There's just nothing better. I think tone is the perfect supplement to a conservatory education because not only are you focusing on orchestral repertoire, but you're creating a capstone project and learning all of these other curatorial and professional skills that will help you not only as a performer. I think one of my favorite experiences on an orchestral stage has to be when I performed the Alpine Symphony with the National Repertory Orchestra in 2017. And it was just a totally different experience than performing on stage in a normal hall because you're in the mountains, you're surrounded by what that piece is about and the story that Strauss is telling in that piece. And I will never forget that experience.